Alright everyone, I am David Wave of Babies Kirk. And I'm Henry Hanks Compson. And we're going to be bringing to you the fourth game between Glasgow and Swansea in the CSL EU week number seven. This is going to be a Zerg versus Protoss on Zelnaga Caverns and we'll get it started right now for you. Spawning in the bottom left hand corner is Charred Fury as the pink Zerg. One of my favorite colors for Zerg. And then spawning as the purple Protoss is Pewee mm -hmm. for Swansea. Yeah, indeed. Um, well... I'd feel a bit annoyed if I was Charge Fury for being forced to play on this map, to be honest. Yeah. It's not the greatest of Zerg map. Well, ZVT. I, I, if, I, I'd be well, ha happy that I wouldn't play a Terra on this <laughs> map, to be honest. Mate. You, you, if you aren't aware, guys, when you submit your team lineups for the CSL EU, you basically just go, there's a, list, there's a list of maps, like map 1, map 2, map 3, map 4, and sign a person for each map. Yep. And so then you, you, you pick based on what you think people will prefer, and you hope that you don't get given a map that might be really, really imbalanced in your, against you. Oop. Just making sure that the sound's good. Sorry oh, about that. Awesome. No worries. And so, yeah. ZP, not a matchup I know... Well, I know it vaguely well, but yeah. I, I haven't really played a lot of it. I think maybe I've done one or two games on this map account, but... Yeah, um, it's an interesting matchup. Um, there's been a lot of deviations in builds, and actually, I don't know if this pylon will reach far enough to charge a building. I believe that it will if the building is placed right here. Yeah, I, I think that it's okay. Um, um, but yeah, it's an interesting matchup. It's something uh, that I have had to do quite a lot because I am a Zerg player. Uh, actually, not that many people are playing Protoss these days, but basically, you just have to watch out for a couple things like DT timings. Uh, Stargate timings, all the Stargate's just not that great of a build. Um, yeah, you, you just normally you need to watch out for two base timings. Those are the things that kill me the most, uh, and also DTs. Ooh, choosing to go hatch first against Protoss, which I, I assume he's betting on the fact that he won't try to form forge fast expand on this yeah, because it's so yeah. difficult, and so therefore you're not at a risk of being cannoned in. Like... Normally, guys, you can't really get well on a lot of maps where Forge First expands aren't viable for, are viable for Protoss. You, as a Zerg player, you can't risk going hatch first. You have to put down the spawning pool so that because if you don't, they will just put cannons in your mineral line and cancel the expansion and uh, make you force you to cancel your expansion. Yeah. So, but yeah, obviously, like this is this is one of the maps that Naniwar at MLG Providence tried to forge Forge First expand and Linux decided to go and get, went go and road rush him and killed him because you can't defend against it. Yeah. So you know. P pretty safe opening from the Sonsi player, Pewee, and so he's probably going to go like some form of sentry expand instead. Yeah, if he does have those two gases, he is getting those two gases, so he should be going for some sort of three gate sentry expand. Uh, it's usually a pretty good build. Mm -hmm. Should go down in around yeah. seven minutes and twenty seconds, somewhere around there, maybe a bit earlier. Um, but yeah, overall it's a good build. It's, it's safe, you get a lot of sentries, which are one of the best units against Zerg and everything else. Um, and you get your expansion up, and two base Protoss usually beats two base Zerg. It does indeed, like, um, yeah, I mean, it's, this this um, map's quite difficult for a Zerg to take a safe third on. Like, the, the gold isn't a particularly safe map, uh, gold isn't a particularly safe third to take at all, and get, getting to the, the other third, so the one behind the gold minerals, requires you to knock down the rocks, which normally means you have to get a lot of lings out, or to um, get some roaches out, so. Yeah. Like I've said before, it's not the greatest design maps, but you can sing a four pylon down. It can be some sort of form of aggression, but it can just be let's start seeing some pylons around the yeah. map for map control, map vision, and just you know, so that you don't, if you want to do a move out, you don't need to rely on having to build a pylon out in the Zerg's half before you can actually do so. Yeah, I like those early pylon plays. Uh, if he goes for any sort of warping. Some zealots in over here, they could do a pretty decent amount of damage. Zealots are quite difficult to kill unless you have roaches out. Lings basically don't kill them. Um, but overall, I think I think the Swansea player being quite safe here, making some good choices, chasing down that drone in the base. Should have gotten it out of the base yeah, earlier, but... It hasn't been able to force these roaches away for quite a while, because well, he pulled the uh, zealot out of there. But um, what, he, what he meant was that the... Um, What's the word I think of? Sentry couldn't be there to try and push him away whenever he yeah. wanted to here because he was checking the Zergans. So, yeah, um, he's going to be able to, you know, he's going to keep a couple of Zergans out in front, scout stuff, see the Stalker out, not a huge amount of information. Yeah. Like, he, see, this is this is a bit weird by him. He's actually going for a four gate. This is something that I haven't seen for a long time. Mm -hmm. And he's getting another pylon over here. Odd decision on his part. Oh, I think that's actually quite a good one. Um, well, obviously, the seven. I think a second forward pylon is a really good idea. Like, there's no reason not to put them out on the map if you're going for some aggression. So, and putting them right next to each other, which means that even if it is scouted, like, it'll take quite a while for the Zerg yeah. to kill both. And so, yeah, you can manage to get the first couple of units in, 
Uh, I think its gateways have finished up and have been converted to what they are. Yeah, there they are. There they go. Getting the Chronobus on them. Quite old build, to be honest. Yeah, this is uh, something that goes back all the way to the beta. Ooh, gets another floor pylon as well. And <laughs> if you can take that out. Oh, nice. Is a did he cancel it or did he take that out? I think he did that I out. I think he killed yeah, it. Yeah, that's pretty big. Denying those creep tumors. Getting in two more pylons. Just far forward. He doesn't need these pylons, actually. Well, yeah, I, I don't think he needs both, to be honest. Like, th that one's going to finish. Like, I'm only surprised he canceled the other. Ooh, he's managed to supply back 12 Fury. Ooh, that is but, huge. Yeah. Can he get a force field on the ramp if he can? That's going to be oh. awesome. He does. Is he going to. He's just going to attack with all these drones and he actually has a couple speedlings. Oh, Jack nice drones. Build. Beautiful yeah. force field. These drones actually coming in here, they are so good against sentries, uh, believe it or not, but lots of links in here, and actually looks like Charred Fury is going to be able to push PUE off, but how many drones has he killed so far? Eight workers killed, so that's pretty big. Oh, the drones are almost acting as a wall to like, prevent the Zergings actually getting in, like, <coughs> there's a bit of an issue there, and he's still going to continue to crash, man. Force fields again, one spine color. Yeah, that is a hero spine color. He needs to send the zealots in first, actually, and go after it. But no, it looks like he's just going to come from the right. Roach Warren is up, so he should be trying to get some roaches up. But he is completely supply blocked right now. This is just huge. All these guys going in there. Spine color is getting moved. No, it's going to be taken down. He should force or focus down that spine color, actually. Nice Ooh. force fields denying a lot of those uh, drones and links from coming in there. But they do actually take out one sentry. I don't know about this aggression here. From Huey, it's a bit right. risky, but there we go. So much damage though. Like, like there's so few zerglings up on the map. Like the supply box is such a big deal. Like, oh, he's still only on, on 19 and 36. And oh, oh, GG. There's the GG from Chard Fury. Swansea wow. is able to tie it up. Well done from Huey. That means we will have yet another game, which I know everyone's just so excited about. I'm terrible at managing the starboard. Oh well. But I'm, if we can talk about that for a sec. Yeah. Using our build in that situation was really, really good because it's not the sort of thing you'd be expecting. I mean, yeah. we see the Evo chamber down here. If it's the Evo evolution chamber and the uh, sport crawler, he, he wasn't, Charles Fury wasn't sure what was going on. I mean, to be honest, he should have sacked an overlord before at this point to know exactly what was going on. Like, you mentioned that if it's a three gate expand or some kind, that the expansion goes down around seven minutes or something. Yeah. Yeah, so like, he should have known that. And also, the stalker actually seeing the stalker at the, on top of the ramp instead of another sentry means yeah. that it's well that can be a giveaway there's going to be yeah. some aggression it's usually a pretty big giveaway if a stalker's yeah. built yeah so he probably should have known that was on the way and he had the roach warren in a bit of a to be honest I don't like the building placements hit that he put like yeah. the roach warren and the evo chamber yeah. as well like, they sh like you don't provide more chokes for sentries to abuse yeah <laughs> they should be uh, somewhere around here right next to the ramp yeah. wall that off a bit it's not a bad decision uh, putting them here though I don't really like that mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. it doesn't mean games leveled up to all indeed indeed so we will be going to an ace match we'll be recording that in just a second if you're watching this on YouTube please be sure to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter follow Henry also I'm at wave of babies 223 and I'm at Hanks GB indeed indeed we will be back in just a moment thank you for watching and stick around for the next match